Hello Fabs, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Yana Tabwa and welcome to the House of Tabwa. Okay, so in my last video, I shared with you guys that I made a bra cup lace fitted uh, bridal jumpsuit and I added a cape bolero on top of it as full coverage for those who need a little bit of coverage or don't want to go bare shoulders when they're doing their ceremonies or functions. So um, in that video I told you guys I'm going to show you how I created the cape bolero style. So in this video I'm going to show you step by step how I did it. So let's get started so you can see how it's done. All right, so here we are. We have our bodice right here. So I wanna go ahead and create a cape style to kind of go with this look. Um, so basically, um, I want the neckline to be rounded like the uh, previous first jumpsuit. So I'm gonna do is round this off over here and make this more rounded shape cape style so I can have the sleeve come off from here or maybe from here, I don't know. Let me drape to see what this style looks like. Okay, so we're voice ordering this. So right now, I basically took a piece of my muslin and drew a one uh, inch mark line to be placed at my center front of my dress form. And then I started to smooth everything out, okay? I wanted to make sure that there was no lumps or bumps or anything like that, girl, because I want everything to be nice and smooth. And then once again, when I couldn't get into those areas that wouldn't smooth out around the neck, I went ahead and slash. Slashing will ease the fabric into this space so I can get it all smooth. And then once I did that and everything started to ease up, that's when I continued to smooth out once again. Now I'm going to be looking for my shoulder point, my high shoulder point, which is at the neckline. And uh, I'm going to take my marker and start marking the neckline using the neckline mark on the dress form. And at the top of that neckline where it splits at the shoulder, that's my high point shoulder. And I'm going to mark right over there. And then I'm going to come all the way down to the edge of my dress form shoulder and then mark there as well. Now, once I got those points there, I'm gonna go ahead and draw how low I want my bolero to start at the center front, and then kind of curve it towards the armhole. Now here, I was trying to decide what I wanted, so let's see what I decided. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna do it higher or maybe lower. I think I'm gonna go higher. Now once I've did that, I just went ahead and cut the desired height of uh, curve I wanted and then just cut off all the excess fabric that was hanging on the side there. Now I went ahead and cut out um, the rest of the excess fabric on the shoulder so that way I can really see how far out of the shoulder do I want to come out. Um, I don't want it to be hanging off the shoulder when it's time for me to place my tool, so I just want it to be the right amount of length. So after I did that, I basically took it off, and now I'm going to repeat the same process all over again, girl, guy, and drape the back with a center front line, placing it on the center front of the dress form. Now again, I'm going to smooth it as I did in the front and then slash the neck so that way I can get the back neck seam. And then I'm going to slash it so I can ease in that fabric so I can take away the lumps and bumps. And then once again, I drew um, how far out I wanna come on my shoulder and then where I'm gonna stop for height of my bolero at the center back. Now here I'm going to go ahead and perfect my lines that I drew. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all those lines and then um, put in my seam allowance once I'm done. So right here I'm going to add in a half an inch and then at the edge of my shoulder armhole area I'm going to make it a quarter and the bottom I left it without seam allowance and I added a quarter at the back neckline. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and repeat the same process for the front as well, making sure that the shoulder have a half an inch seam allowance, and then also adjust my armhole when I'm gonna add the quarter of an inch, and same for the neckline as well at the center front. So here is the pattern complete. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that inch um, at the center front and right in that's going to be my fold so when it's time for me to cut it onto fabric I know where the fold is so now I'm going to go ahead and connect the shoulder so I can see what this pattern looks like on the dress form so I put the shoulders together I'm going to try this on the dress form now to see how this looks So this would be the bolero part of this. And then I think I'm gonna put like a little mandarin here so I can have the lace be on the neck. And then back here we'll get the tool to drape and over the shoulder and maybe into here. This might be lace work. So for my mandarin collar, I just went ahead and got a piece of muslin scraps and just place that around the neckline. And as you can see, I'm trying to shape around the neckline, so I go ahead and slash into the neck so that way I can ease that fabric in and draw my next seam mark using that marker and then draw how high I want my mandarin to be. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the back as well, so that way I know that the collar is going to match the front and I'm going to also ease it in so that way the collar can be a high collar from the back neck as well. And so I'm gonna mark with my marker the neck back seam and then draw the desired height that I want it to be. So as you can see, I'm going to make the corrections here and I'm going to do the same thing as my other patterns where I'm gonna correct the lines and I'm gonna add my quarter of an inch seam allowance at the neck seam and also at the side as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect it together, the front and back together, so that way I can have my high collar. Once I've connected it, it's going to be a whole one piece. I'm not gonna separate it to have two pieces. I'm just gonna connect it so that way I can connect it to the patterns. So now I'm gonna take my collar and connect it to the patterns, and then that way I can see the full shape of this upper part of the bolero. Okay, so here is the mandarin collar. Um, this is basically what it's going to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out on the mesh. And then I'm gonna lay the lace on top so that way we can see the design so it can go and complement the neckline of this bust line right here. So right now I'm gonna be using two-way stretch mesh fabric. You can find this at your local store. It's just mesh fabric. And uh, I'm gonna cut out my collar and the center front of my pattern. And then the back's gonna be two pieces because it's gonna be open. Just basically place the lace on top 
to get the shape and then start actually I should actually add the um, tool so here's my tool I think I'm just gonna gather it into the neck like this it gives me a cape style look go ahead and start cutting this up so I can fit it in I need for my sleeve and I need for the back as well here's my tool It's 180 inches wide that's what the guy told me at the store and so I went ahead and folded in half and folded in half again I got three yards of this tool so I came down about 18 to 20 inches and cut it from the three yards so that way I can create two sleeves from there, I gathered one end of the sleeve so that way I can distribute it and place it onto the shoulder evenly from the front all the way to the back. So this is what the sleeve will look like when I stitch everything together. As you can see, the back is open, and that is where I'm going to take the remainder of my tool so I can separate that into two, uh, to two panels and gather it at that one end of the tool panel and then sew it all down into place in that area. So, so far so good. This is the front of the cape and this is the back of the Bolero cape which is going to have a huge long train as you can see right here and it will open up here. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying the lace on top so that way I can place the lace to cover this whole area here just to play back with the lace bodice here so now it's time for me to create some appliques and I went ahead and um, used my wood burner tool I have a love and hate relationship with this because the way it be burning the lace and it be looking crusty at the edges I don't like that so I have to go in with some little embroidery scissors or little nippers as you can see here and to make sure that it's nice and clean and I really don't like that but if I cut the this lace it starts unraveling at the edges so I do like the wood burner tool because it burns the edges and syringes it but sometimes it just leaves this dusty nasty dirty cut I'm not feeling but I digress it is what it is but I made it work so here is the medallion that you see me cut out here and I'm gonna go ahead and place some other laces around it to build out what the design should look like so that way I designed this uh, lace applique and it very looks unique and I'm loving the way it looks right here and once I've done all the placements of how I want my lace to look I go ahead and hand sew everything down this is the most tedious part not the most I love but the outcome is on point so here we are guys the cape bolero is complete um, here is the neckline I absolutely love it the way I placed it I'm gonna also fill in some areas right here because I don't like that open space but um, the sleeves came out great I'm about to put the buttons in okay so the back's gonna have um, button loops as well and it's probably gonna be hidden right here because I had the lace to overlap a little bit and so it's gonna have a long train girl okay so here is a quick close up of the cuff. I didn't really go into detail on how I created the cuff. The cuff is something that I already did. I have a tutorial where you can reference on how to create a bishop sleeve that have a cuff like this. And all I did was basically do a cup 
um, over uh, the end of the sleeve and gather it up and then after that just sew it shut and then add the buttons so that's basically what it is okay so here is the cape um, bolero and I put it and paired it with the jumpsuit here so you guys can see what it would look like once you hang it up you know so you know when the photographer takes pictures of the actual gown um, they usually take pictures over doors or over a window or something like that so it's like a detailed shot so basically this is basically the cape and as you can see this is the neckline and it goes right into the sleeve and again um, if you didn't notice that the sleeve is not attached together with the back panel of the cape um, this is the back of the cape let me turn it around real quick here is the back of the cape and as you can see the buttons here and so this part is separate from the sleeve as you can see it was just connected at the top when I showed you that this area was open so I can lay this right on top so it just overlaps at the back corner here and then it becomes a separate piece so that way the sleeve is on its own which has a inner slit on the inside and the cuff is at the the closures at the seam the inseam of the cuff so that way it's just closed nothing special about that and then this is the back portion of the cape which is two long panels and you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want depending on what kind of style that you want but this is basically it for the cape bolero so this is the cape bolero Much, but enough oomph to give me a little bit of edge or pizzazz. Let me come up close so you guys can see. Alright. Yeah, so it looks like this basically, which is gorgeous. This is like a neckline, a necklace for this neckline. And then this is the sleeve, which I love it. So I think it will be perfect for the occasion. So this is optional, you can take this part off, but you can have a little coverage if you need it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.